Hi you going, people? So I'm cleaning up my M1 Grand. M1 Grant. Or Grant. Garant. It's G-A-R-E-N-D, but I don't think it's pronounced Garand for the guy that made it. But whatever, you can say however. Uh, so I pulled all my wood off because I wanted to put some... Uh, let me see if I can get this spin around here so I can get in front and see what the hell's going on. So I put some uh, tongue oil. I really like tongue oil on wood. It usually leaves a nice finish. Uh, it's still got a little marks on it. I think as it dries better, I'll be able to wipe it off more. But uh, I put it on last night. It says wait 24 hours. I waited 12. So as it gets harder, if you polish it with this lint-free cloth, it'll usually buff up to a nice, uh, a nice look on the wood. So this would look kind of rough when I got it, and uh, I think this is the second time that I put that on there. And the inside wasn't coated at all, so I put some in there too. So that's that's why this is completely apart with all this wood. Let me get my gloves on before I start messing with oily stuff. And uh, I don't know if this is a complete breakdown, but um, it's pretty it's pretty complete. I didn't, and I was wondering, I wonder if I should pause this and maybe even go do that, is uh, to go and, uh, I, I'd like to take this firing pin out and see how dirty it is in there. So, um, that's the only thing I didn't do, and I'm assuming you're going to have to have some special tool to release pressure in order to get that pin out, and so I'm probably not going to mess with it. Uh, but I don't know if I stuck a Q-tip down there. Let me see if I can stick a. I mean, this thing has pretty much been cleaned, sat overnight, oiled it up, got all the parts. I was going to bring this out and just blow it out, but I just took a Q-tip to it, so uh, it's it's pretty clean. Uh, the trigger mechanism. Uh, I don't know why I locked that. So that, that that's how you take it apart. And, Maybe I'll, I'll, after I put it together, I'll, I'll take it apart real quick at the beginning. But I was cleaning and doing all this, and I went, well, shit, let me just do a good detail on how to reassemble this sucker. So um, here is, we're going to reassemble this, all these little pieces. And there's actually not that many. These two screws here go to these two little rings here, so that's not really parts. These parts, I don't know all the names, but... Uh, we're going to go through them one by one. This is just your main frame, and it is completely empty, which makes it very nice to clean, get in all these little corners, uh, get down on the barrel. Uh, it's got some threads here. You always want to pay attention to threads. Um, charging handle is the other piece that's not cleaned a whole bunch. Getting something way down in there. I got this. Uh, I just put me a little patch on like I was cleaning a barrel, and I went in and out several times until I got a clean patch in and out of there. He just put a dirty patch, whatever. All right, people, come on. So, um, and um, so, you know, I might go a quick Q-tip over some of these real quick before I put together. This spring, it's a very, takes a long time because I, I put a rag through and I literally twisted it until the little cloth with oil worked us all the way down to make sure I got every ring. So this is a really long spring, and it took my hands were freaking cramping when I was done. Uh, this piece you probably won't see a lot unless you pull this piece off, because it goes, uh, I think, like here, and then that clamps on here. So most people do not remove this. Uh, this little piece has a couple of cut ends on the barrel, and it's got these two little metal pieces here that come off. So most people don't even take it off, but it's not that hard to get back on. Um, what I'm doing is I'm putting this clip on the other side, having it hook in, and then you're just pushing down till it snaps in over here. And then it, it, it's slapped on that side and that side. And now I need to put this little piece here, which most people don't take off because there's a little roll pin that goes on there. And... Um, in order to get that roll pin in the right spot, you really 
Uh, I probably should have showed that. There's a little bitty cutout right here, right underneath here, where that roll pin's at. So that roll pin has to go right there. So when I'm tapping this in, and again, most people do not put that in there. So I'm going to see if I can slide a little... So I'm thinking that's there. It's on the groove. Otherwise, this would not go through. So I think it's in a right spot. Here is the little roll pin that I have to get in there without ruining it. <laughs> so this is the part that usually involves a little cussing. And uh, hopefully I can get that sucker back in there. I'm not a big roll pin guy. And I think I've taken this out once before, and I swore I would never take it out again. And then I took it out again. So I am going to probably pause this while I get this in, because uh, most people won't take it out. And I almost got it in, so I figured I would let you see the last little piece of getting it in. in. So that will prevent this from moving which keeps this wood in here which keeps this. Again most people do not take this off. So um, let me uh, see what goes on next. I think I can start back with the standard put together. So we're going to put the bolt in next. Let me get a zoom in on that bolt area. Um, so obviously the bolt, the firing pin, let me twist this so I can see what I'm looking at here. The firing pin has to be facing the barrel, so we know it's going to go in this way. The flat end goes on top, not like that. So we got to get this flat end in here and a barrel here, and it's got little tracks. And it'll kind of fall into place. Um, trying to keep it on camera is probably the hardest part. Okay, so your bolt's in, and you know it's in because it works like that. Okay? Hopefully you guys can see that. And uh, now we will turn this over. And we're going to slide that bolt back into this area where, oh, without it falling out, into the area it goes. And uh, let's see here. Let's try, let me get rid of these because I don't need these roll pins anymore. Uh, I might need that hammer, but we'll see. And the charging handle is going to go, um, it needs to connect with the bolt. So, obviously this is the curved in, like a barrel. So it's going to be laying on the barrel like so. It needs to go in this little track right here. Um, is that kind of in there? Oh, shit. All right. So this, this has to get in here. There's a little cutout right there. And if you just put it in the cutout without connecting the barrel first, it's not going to work. So, you see how there's a little lip right there? So now it's in there, but if I didn't line up this correctly, I would lose it. So you got to make sure your bolt's in the right position to hook in, like right there, and then it hooks right in, and then, shit. Ah, oh, I blew it. <laughs> I had it and I blew it. Stupid. Alright, so let's get our bolt back in there. This little lip right here, we need to bend it in without losing it down here. Ah. 
killing me, dude. All right, so now we're there. Uh, and let's see, I think the follower goes in next, but I'm going to move the camera here so we can kind of see what's going on. Okay, so trying to film this part is just really difficult. So hopefully I'm in camera and I'm going to point out a few things that need to happen because this is where it's tricky. And one thing you got to remember, is this thing in camera? This little pin right here, you have to make sure on one part that right inside here, I don't know if you can see that, going in and out. See that little piece right there going in and out? That's the critical part that you'll screw up if you're not careful. All right, so let's let's try to get through this here. We're going to put in, and I've lined these up in order, so if you're looking at these and you want to put it up, put these parts in this order, and you'll be able to see how they go in. So I, I believe this is called a follower or whatever, but uh, just remember, like where the bullets would sit on both sides, it goes down, and there's these two little rails here to where it fits in and it just drops in. Okay, can I zoom in on that or will I lose uh, part of what I'm working on? I you guys to be able to see. Okay, then we have this little cradle here that has to fit in this little area here. If you try to put it in flat, it won't go. Usually if you just angle it in, it drops right in and then it's, it'll fit right there perfectly. Okay, but you have to get it to where it's in these two little grooves here and it sets right there. Now this is the piece where I was talking about earlier. This piece here, this hook, is this hook in the camera? This hook has to go under that little piece there. So that little hook there, so if you put it on top, it'll fit flat like that, and it seems like it goes there, and it'll go back together. This has to be up underneath this little hook here, So when you press it, it springs back. See that springing? Watch this piece right here. See that? These two connect, and that's where there's a lot of problems with this gun. All right? So that's got to go back in there. I don't know if I can put this in afterwards or not. I usually always put it in first. Yeah, so it's got to go in first. So we're going to pull this out, but you had to, you, I, I want to make sure you got that. So that sits in here. So this has to go back in underneath and then we have to get that springy action to where I can move it with the pin or this okay critical point that it needs to go this little wavery part right here is like a V and that just needs to sit right there now this part see there's a little pin this little pin right here that goes in it has to go through here to hold all these pieces in. It doesn't go in hard, just kind of holds them in there because once it's in the wood frame, it holds the pin from coming out. So this pin has to go in to hold in this piece and this piece and this piece. So that's why while we're lining up here, we need to make sure that all these are connected so nothing comes out now. So we're going to pull that back out. And now this piece has to go in, but first we have to pull our follower back up, and this is going to go right in here on the follower. Is that in the camera? I think it is. But it's got to go in between here and then slide in there. Okay? So we have that. And now this little piece needs to go over this piece, so this pin will lock them all together. Yay! Okay, so that's, once you get it together and get that pin in, you're good to go. Um, and then we'll move on to the next one, but I, I really wanted to kind of zoom in on that one. Uh, so hopefully you could see all the parts and how they fit and the pin and everything. That's that little uh, thing right there that I was talking about, wiggles. Uh, you have to have this gap here, so this springs back up. and has it springs back up you're going to see it working with this piece. And I'll zoom back out and we'll see it springing. 
Got it? Always want to check that when you're putting this back together. All right. We'll be right back and we'll do the camera thingy. Okay. So now we're going to try to, and hopefully, I don't know if I'm supposed to put this in before I put this piece on. I'm going to try to put this on afterwards. I may have to take this off again. Uh, so I cleaned up this part. Make sure you get this part. This is a metal piece that's kind of installed into the, the forearm grip, and it needs to be cleaned. This was really dirty, and give it a good cleaning. There's also on the inside of this is a another uh, flat piece of metal. And the way I did it is I just cut me a piece of t-shirt and I put it on this and I kind of scrubbed the inside down here on this um, to try and get that metal piece clean. And then I put some oil on a patch and then I just oiled it from both sides to, in order to, that, that's a neglected area inside there. So this side's easy to get to, but it's still neglected. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this back on here, um, and hopefully it will go on afterwards and it won't be a problem. Uh, I think it goes on like so. And of course, this piece right here, this wood piece, is going to go into that other wood piece that I put in with the pin. So right here, um, it's got that opening for this wood to go in here. So we're going to slide that in, and then they should connect right there. And we'll make sure those are lined up nice. Oh shit, I forgot to put the pin in here. Where's that damn pin? Did it fall out? Oh, it did fall out. Shit. Because I'm turning this thing around. Let me make sure this bad boy's back in here. <laughs> Rick, you're going to... It's not going to... Alright, so this pin has... Oh, something else I forgot to mention. This pin, make sure it goes in on the charging handle side. Don't put it in on the other side. It goes in because the pin has a little head on one side. This is smooth. This has a little head on it. So it has to go in from the charging handle side. I don't know if I, I said that or not. I'll make sure this is still good connected. Okay, so I'm still good here. Uh, I need to get this seated properly. Give it a couple little taps here. Small taps, small light taps are always better than one big hard tap. Okay, we're not trying to pound nails here. I'm just trying to get some some seated and now you can tell that that little gap there is gone. And it's nice and tight. Like, that's what he said he likes. Nice and tight. Alright. So then, let me spin this around this way maybe. So you can kind of see what's going on here. This is going to be in the way here. Let me uh, try to get my barrel. All right, my glove's in there. So now we have to put this little sucker on here and the glab screw. That's how it comes off. But we're going to put it on. Uh, of course, the sight has to be on top like so. So we're going to put it over here and over here. And the charging handle should go through here. And then there's a little grooves right here that I'm going to put a little drop of oil on because that's what this little thing's going to kind of like hammer back to. And it's going to seat here and push this back and seat the charging handle and everything's going to be nice and uh, Want to make sure it lines up nice and straight. Mine's really tight. Some of these I've seen, they just slide right on and off. This sucker, mine, I'm a banging mofo to get this on and off. Okay, is that is that on good enough? I don't know. 
I'm thinking it is. Then we're going to take this little piece here, which if you've seen me take it off, and we're going to screw this down on here, like so. Before I screw that, I'm going to put a drop of oil on there, even though I've already oiled it. Now this screwing actually pushed it in further. Do I want to go another one to push it in further? Woo! Man, that moved it really good and tight now. Can I get another twist? No. Stops right there. So I'm going to back up and put it right there. Then my little end cap right here is going to go in here. And I've heard a lot of people say get the special tool for this. I just use a um, a flathead screwdriver. So I got a flathead over here that will fit in there. This one's a little big, but I, the, when I took it off, any flathead that will fit in there will usually twist this. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's a Phillips is too small. But I had a flathead where I put it in that fit right in there, and. Uh, it'll take it out. But they make a special little tool if you want it. And hopefully I'll remember to tighten this up because I don't have the special little tool. <laughs> I'm too cheap to buy it. <laughs> Alright, so that's kind of snug in there. That's on here. It's holding my wood. Now I'm going to put my spring, my recoil or guide rod spring in here. Are y'all being able to see that? So this rod goes in here and then this last little piece here will fit right in here so it doesn't go any further. It pushes the spring down. And I'm going to, this is going to push in there and then this is going to go right here. And let me see if I can get a good close-up of this area right here so you can see how this connects. Uh, I don't have to stop it. Maybe I can just go from here and give me a good zoom in on that. Because you see it, it pushes in there and now that little hook right there is going to hook into this on your follower See these two little pieces right here? This is going to go right there. So hopefully that's in camera, I can't see. This is going to go right there. But I have to push this in here, put tension, and get it in there. Ah! Success! Alright, hopefully you saw that. Still have tension here, still has this working. This moves that. That moves the handle. We're good to go. Uh, now we're going to put the wood piece on. Let me zoom back out here. Rick, you're making me seasick from all the zooming. I'm trying to show you what's going on. Be quiet, you big crybabies. So now this is going to slide obviously right back inside here if I do it right oh shit hang on a sec I'm getting tension that I shouldn't be getting mine this thing was so tight anyway did I put this on backwards? I did. Okay, so here, here, because I was explaining and trying to get the damn hook in there, I wasn't paying attention to uh, the damn guide rod. So this has to feed in between that little piece there. It's upside down. So we're going to pull this out. It's out. It needs to go this way because this piece needs to be inside this little cradle here. Okay, 
So, uh, no big deal. I know somebody will be like, he don't even know what he's doing. Shut up, you freaking crybabies. Okay, so now it's in this little piece. Now we have this. And now we're good to go. Now this should go on easier. <laughs> I was like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> All right. It's not going on as easy as I thought it should. What's going on here? Oh, my little pen has fell out and it's not letting it go down. So I have to pull this out in order to make sure that little pin's in there. And because there's tension on it now, so let's pull this back off and make sure that little pin goes all the way in with this tension. I'm going to release some tension. There you go. It fell in. Because it had this tension here, it was stopping it. So now that that's in, try it again. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Don't watch this guy. He doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, okay, whatever. Freaking crybabies. All right, so why? I think I need... Most of these wood pieces are not as hard as mine. I mean, this thing is just... So I'm going to get this down and hopefully be able to slide this in. Ah, there. Good seal here, good seal there. Oh, hang on, I can't tell. Am I in camera? <laughs> okay, so we have this here. We have a good seal here. Everything looks good. Looks nice and tight. Now the last piece I'm going to put in is, uh, can you guys see this? Is this little guy. And this is a pretty nice little hooking thing so it locks in when you when you close it it locks in so you open it up you slide your trigger in should fit right in there nicely make sure it's good and flush and then as you close this you're gonna feel a little tension and then this little hook right here is gonna hook in so there let me pull that out see that little hook right there that's gonna bounce over there as you push it in see that and that's going to snap in. So that's what's happening, which you can't see. Slide this back in here. It's in there nice and tight, good and seated. Bring this down. There's that snap. Let's make sure it functions. That should lock up and lock it to the rear on the last round because that's how this operates. Watch the M1 Grand Thumb. You have to push this down to let it go forward. Now it should fire, if the safety's off, it'll fire. I kind of like this, I don't use like safeties, but I like the M1 Grand Safety, because when you put it on, to put it off, you just push your finger forward. Safety off, pull the trigger. But anyway, I digress. So we pull the trigger, pull it and hold it back for the function check, hold it back, continue pressure, Recock it. I should hear a click, trigger reset. There's that trigger reset, and it should fire. I know my gun's working properly. Locks to the rear. We're good to go. So hopefully, if you want to reverse this to take this off, this video would be really long if I did it all the way both ways. Uh, basically, you take the plug off, take that plug out, unscrew this, tap this off, Turn it over, pop this up, trigger housing comes out, slide your wood off, and then all the internal pieces are there. So there really shouldn't be any reason to uh, worry about this. I still need to put these little guys back on here. I don't need to do that on camera. Uh, this little guy goes here with a screw that I want to pull it off and make sure they got a good cleaning. And then this little piece goes up here. And I'll put their little screws back in to hold my, uh, uh, what do you call it, slingy thingy. 
I'll just call it a slingy thingy and then I'll put that back on there and uh, we should be good to go alright hope that helps on assembling the M1 Grand and she's back together everything's done M1 Garand, um, I guess I would call this the assembly instead of the disassembly, but anyway, uh, I ran that through both of those just for GP. I could run a second one through that, just to keep the sling out of the way. It's not like I'm slinging it. I would run that sling differently. I would either choose the short one or long one if I was actually using it. But uh, put some tongue oil on the stock and uh, gave it a good oiling. Well, in that there.